Robots are gonna suck out your blood and use it for testing. What kind of testing? Hey guys, Trace here for D News with Annie Gauss from TechFeed. Hey. We're gonna talk about robots. TechFeed talked about a robot recently that makes me super nervous. Which one? We talk about a lot of robots. The blood robot. Oh god, that one. Ugh. Oh. So tell me about it. What does it do? Okay, well, this is the robot that is specifically designed to draw your blood. So the way it works is that it, you stick your arm through this padded tube, mm -hmm. um, and then it kind of restricts your, your blood flow like they do at the doctor's office, and then the robot uses uh, imaging, you know, to find the right vein and then goes for it. The, but the robot has needles. And it the sucks, robot has and needles, yes. Um, and they want you to know that they have an 83% accuracy rate. <laughs> they have a higher success rate, they say, than the average human, but still, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know if I want. <laughs> A row. At least if a woman or a man messes up while poking me in the arm, I can look at them sternly. Right, the or, robot you, doesn't or, you care. Say, or you go like, ow, and then they stop. But the robot doesn't have feelings. Yeah, it doesn't not, feel pain. I don't so. know if I feel good about that. Yeah. We've talked a bunch about Pet Man. That's one of your favorites, I know. Oh yeah, I love Pet Man. And then we've got Atlas, which is the newer version of Pet Man, which has multiple hands. He's like the scariest one, I think. Scariest, but I, I like him. You think he's great? Like, what do you like about Pet Man slash Atlas? I, I like his brisk walk. He you know, it's very commanding. So very, he it's does, very... yeah. He's he's got he's got a determined gait for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can even throw stuff at him, right? Yeah. He won't even knock him over. He would own it tetherball. Pam, our EP, would be very mad if we did not talk about Kibo, the cutest robot ever in space ever. He's adorable. He's 13 inches. He's he's like this big, and he's there to talk to the Japanese astronauts and communicate back and forth, and also provide companionship. My least favorite robot is uh, the jellyfish robots that we've talked about on D News. I'm not sure I know about those. It's an underwater surveying robot, and it looks like a jellyfish, like a giant one. But mostly, I just hate jellyfish. Ooh, really? They're creepy. Yeah, for me, um, it's the, well, there's a company called Robugtix. Okay. <laughs> Clever. Uh -huh. um, and they made a super lifelike robot octopod, is the euphemism that they like to use, uh -huh. um, not robot spider. Um, and as someone that's not a huge fan of spiders, this one is kind of in the kill it with fire column for me. Mm -hmm. I don't need yeah. robot spiders in my life right now, maybe in the future. Unfortunately, you can't kill jellyfish robots with fire, so. <laughs> I'm not sure how I'm gonna handle mine. Futurist Ray Kurzweil, who's constantly, he's making predictions all the time about robots and where things are going technologically. He says that the computers we have now are gonna be the size of a blood cell in like another couple of decades. Wow. I don't know if that's good or bad. Are we gonna be screwed? I, th I don't know. I feel like it's gonna be better. <laughs> We're gonna have nanobots yeah, sure, gonna heal not? us and stuff. <laughs> anyway, uh, tell us what you think, guys. Do you have a favorite robot or a least favorite robot? If so, leave a comment down below. And if you wanna catch Annie over on TechFeed News, just go to youtube.com slash techfeed. And then make sure you subscribe to both of us so you can get more D News, more TechFeed. And if you don't, I'm gonna send Atlas to your house and no amount of tetherball or exercise balls are gonna stop him. Yeah, don't even try. He's just gonna take over.